Close the Old Bay Restaurant in New Brunswick closed on Saturday, Deck. 23 Chris Jordan's world is going to end, swallowed up by a black hole. What do you do? Rock out at a New Brunswick basement show, of course. It's all part of The Eleventh Hour, a new rock musical comedy making its big city debut this week at the Hudson Guild Theatre in Manhattan as part of the New York Winterfest Theatre Festival. The New Brunswick basement scene, centre stage, The Eleventh Hour, is known across the country for being a hotspot of music talent. More tears and farewells as Old Bay closes in New Brunswick. In my experiences at Rutgers University, we had shows in the house I lived in and we went to parties and probably a few safety codes were broken, said David Seaman, a New Brunswick rocker who wrote the book, Lyrics and Music for, The Eleventh Hour, there were too many amps plugged into the same outlet. In my experience, it didn't feel dangerous but some of the shows were huge with 150 people in a basement, so maybe that wasn't a smart idea, yet, the city's basement show scene has existed. For more than 30 years and bands that got their start there have landed on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine, played on Late Show with David Letterman, and appeared on MTV. They include The Bouncing Souls, Lifetime, Thursday, Midtown, The Gaslight Anthem, Midtown and Screaming Females. The shows, technically illegal, take place primarily in the basements of homes, usually rented, often in transient areas of the city populated by students, or to play show thumbnail show captions last slide and next slide, we moved the house, Seaman said. Sometimes in the kitchen there will be a can of beer on a counter and the band would start and the counter would start vibrating and the can would start moving to the edge, you'd move the whole house, we were shut down a lot of times, no chance of that happening at the Hudson Guild. In the, the 11th hour, the end of the world is coming but a Brumfus rocker, who's probably rattled a few cans off of kitchen counters himself, and his ex-girlfriend, a rising star astrophysicist, may have the key to saving the planet. Now, if they can only survive a trip down the New Jersey Turnpike. Annie Rutherford Lutz directs. The work was originally created by Seaman, Lutz, and Shimmy Schwartz through a commission by New Brunswick's Collab Arts and debuted a Pino's Gift Basket Shop and Wine Cellar in Highland Park. More film festivals getting naked in New Brunswick and Maury Zaman is a teaching artist at the George Street Playhouse in New Brunswick and MacArthur Theatre in Princeton and Jersey Music fans know of his work with the band Epic City. He still knows where the New Brunswick basement shows are. Walk around the 6th Ward, between Eastern Avenue and College Avenue, Seaman said. Quote, around 11 or 11.30, and you start to hear a kick drum, then a guitar and it won't be long. Then you see a bunch of smokers in a driveway, that's the next hint, the 11th hour, 9 p.m. Friday, January 26th and 3.30 p.m. Sunday, January 28th, Winterfest Theatre Festival at Hudson Guild Theatre, 441 W 26th Street, New York, $23, New York Theatre Festival.com. Chris Jordan, see Jordan at app.com. Twitter at Chris Fjordan Red or share this story http2fhp21k.